Welcome back to DB5 News at 9, everyone. Time now for Legally Speaking, and we have attorney Marcus Garski here with us this morning. So thanks for being here. How are you? Good to be here this morning. Good. Yes, we're glad to have you. Um, we're talking about the Clean Slate Act. So tell us a little bit. You're with Garski Hewitt, a law firm in uh, Bay County. Just tell us a little bit about your practice, your firm. Right. So we are one of Bay County's largest law firms. We have six attorneys. We specialize in a wide variety of law. So if you have any type of legal question, we can be reached. We're right on Euclid, just off the I-75 US-10 interchange. So we're really accessible and we're there to see you through any type of legal issue you have going on. Very good. Now tell us a little bit about this Clean Slate Act that we're talking about today. So the old law used to require if you had a criminal history, if you screwed up in your youth, made a mistake in your life, you could only have one felony and up to two misdemeanors expunged. So in 2020, the Clean Slate Act was passed and it was open the door for so many people in Michigan uh, to better jobs, better housing opportunities, uh, opened so many doors, even in volunteering at your kid's school you might be able to do mm -hmm. now. So now you can have up to three felonies expunged and an unlimited number of misdemeanors. And then just recently, to take it a step farther, we saw the automatic expungements come into effect. So now, if you have an unlimited number of what's called a simple misdemeanor, meaning it's punishable by less than 92 days in jail, mm -hmm. like a disorderly person, a disturbing the peace, uh, an MIP under the old rules, those will qualify for that. You, if it's been seven years and you've had no other trouble, those will automatically come off. Now, regular misdemeanors, anything punishable by either 93 days, six months, or a year, mm -hmm. you could have up to four of those. Same rules, you have to have seven years of no problems, uh, but it can also can't be anything assaultive or any types of crimes of dishonesty or uh, substance related, such as drunk drivings. Okay. And then felonies now, you could have up to two. If it's been 10 years, they've been punishable by less than 10 years or more in prison. Mm -hmm. 10 years since you've been in any type of trouble with that, those may automatically come off as well. So there's a couple of ways that are out there for you to get your record clean. Very good. And for those who don't know if they qualify for something like this, how can they find that out? So if you Google Michigan iChat, I-C-H-A-T, it's a uh, Part of, put on by the Michigan State Police. It's part of their website. It's going to cost you $10, and please be careful when you fill this thing out. Mm -hmm. If you spell your name wrong, you transpose a letter, it's going to charge you 10 bucks to do it again. But that's the best way to check. Don't call the courts right now. Uh, this just went into effect. Our courts are working so hard to try to catch up on all this. I mean, we're talking probably close to a million people in Michigan who qualify for at least some part of this automatic expungement. Wow. So the courts are working hard. They are trying to get this qualified. And then every single day, the Michigan State Police is sending a letter notifying these courts, mm. hey, now Mr. So-and-so is eligible. We need to expunge him. Today is the day Jane Doe is eligible. We need to expunge her. So go online, run your background. Uh, if something is still showing up, then there's uh, other things that you can do. So if you don't qualify directly under the clean slate, you can still contact a lawyer. Okay. There's many firms here in Michigan that'll do free consultations for that. Uh, you may be able to actually have a hearing with the court and ask the court that it's in the interest of justice that mm. your three felonies, or if you do have an assaultive misdemeanor that wouldn't automatically come off, you could still get off through a petition through the courts. All right, so lots to consider here, lots of options it sounds like too. And just out of your personal uh, experience, have you really seen a lot more people coming in to find out if they're qualified for this? Is, is it a big boom since a lot of these uh, legislation has passed? Yes, it's, it's, and then we had the backup with COVID too, which has kind okay. of hurt the process. Yeah. Uh, because so many people became eligible so quickly. Mm -hmm. Uh, people are waiting six months to almost a year to find out if their expungements can go through. So this clean slate is going to help a lot of that. Okay. Um, so with the automatic stuff, it's going to help a lot of that. Hopefully it'll relieve some of the burden because otherwise you have to submit fingerprints to the state police. You have to get approval from Dana Nessel's office. Mm -hmm. And obviously with so many people in Michigan now eligible, that's a process that, that can bog down and then the courts are still trying to catch up from COVID. Okay. So, Run your eye chat, see if you if anything is there. If there's something still showing up that you don't think is sh should be showing up, contact a lawyer or uh, Legal Services of Eastern Michigan is a great nonprofit. They may be able to help you out as well. Are there any other recommendations on resources available to these people? 
So I believe there should be a link that will go up with our, our interview today. Mm -hmm. um, follow the link, run your eye chat, get on Google. I mean, the internet is an amazing place these days with what, which, what you can find and what's at your fingertips. I'm sure any of your questions will be answered, but it, most attorneys will give you a free consultation. Don't hesitate to call. Very good. Marcus, anything else you want us to know? Just that Garski Hewitt will see you through it. All right. Sounds good. And we've had the contact information, so you can contact them. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Yeah, of course. For more information, of course, go to the Hot Links section on our website, WNEM.com.